Hey, what's up? It's Matt. Um, this is my third blog so far. Um, got a lot of comments from people saying that they think it's cool. So I'm going to try to keep on doing these every so often, at least daily. Trying to do them daily, I should mean. Um, let's see. Oh, three topics for today. First one. I'm starting to read Wikipedia an awful lot. Um, reading new things about people that I worship and idolize and different things like that. Number one, recently being Randy Rhodes. Um, in my opinion, there's nobody better playing guitar. Randy Rhodes died at the age of 25 in a plane, a plane crash. And in my opinion, there's nobody better. I just can't even imagine how good he would be now. If he was still alive today. Um, yeah. People that I don't know. Well at least I didn't know. Until today. Randy Rhodes created Quiet Riot. News to me. Currently downloading some live footage of uh, Randy Rhodes playing with, with uh, Quiet Riot. Before he joined up Ozzy's solo project. It's kind of cool. Um, really fucked up thing. And if this is wrong, again, it's on Wikipedia. If you go on Wikipedia and type in Randy Rhodes, it says that uh, the pilot was Ozzy's bus driver, which is true. I've seen that on a couple other pages. But what that site has that a lot of sites that I've seen don't have anything about this about is... Um, the bus driver, who was the pilot, was upset that his wife was, I guess, cheating on him, having an affair. So he decided to bring the plane really close to the tour bus, and I guess she was there, his wife. And did that a couple times, and on either the third or fourth time around, the plane clips the side of the bus and crashes into a mansion. Explodes, killing all three that were on board. Um, another thing I didn't know was the autopsy on the pilot revealed that he had cocaine in the system. So this prick who was high on drugs and was doing something, you know, to get pissed off at somebody that was, you know, his wife killed my idol. So, yeah, it kind of sucks. So I've been listening to a lot of Ozzy recently, and like, you know, pre-Zach Wilde, pre-Jake Lee. Listening to a lot of uh, Randy Rhodes' material, and amazing. If you don't have the tribute album that Ozzy and, Zach w and, and Randy Rhodes did together at a live performance in Cleveland, and it was released a couple years after he died, but... It, happened, it was just it was a performance of just recently before he had passed away. It's amazing. You should check it out. Um, oh, the PlayStation Three is released on um, this Friday. Yeah, um, six hundred bucks for the one that's worth it. Any, worth anything? Uh, last year around this time, I think November the twenty second, I was standing outside of Best Buy. <coughs> Waiting for a Xbox 360 to come out. Waited outside from 7 p.m. at night to 8 a.m. in the morning. In the blistering cold. Yeah. Can I say it was all worth it? Yeah, it was, but that's 400 bucks. This is 600 bucks. It's ridiculous. Um, so, yeah, 600 bucks and... The only good thing coming out of it so far is when earlier reports were saying that the games were going to cost 100 bucks a piece, which is fucking ridiculous. Um, now they're only costing 60 bucks. At least the games that have already kind of been... Most of the games, Call of Duty 3, Madden, uh, all those games have already been released on previous consoles. So I'm just waiting to see if there's any games that are released specifically for the PlayStation 3 and its graphics that um, will cost more money. Because if they charge a hundred bucks, 
that's crazy. Hopefully other video game systems won't do that because even for the games that I buy every year, the Madden games, NBAs, college football, those games, I wouldn't spend 100 bucks on them regardless of how good the games look because that's ridiculous. You buy six games and you've paid for your system. It makes no sense. Um, let's see. Oh, um, also, the end of New Metal. I guess people have already said it's been dead, but I'm starting to see that it's either dead or it's on its last breath. I mean, you look at Slipknot's no longer around. They're on hiatus, but I doubt they'll ever come back. Um, even bands that were around there, like Limp Bizkit, they're pretty much dead. You know, all those type of bands that came out, it's they're gone. And a lot of people say good riddance, it was good. Now we're back, to, we're doing real metal that how it should be. But I liked it. It was a lot of influences with rap and rock mixed together. Linkin Park bands like that, they were amazing bands to see live. Now you go to a show, see all the bands that you haven't even heard of that are afterwards, and they sound exactly the same. They're all really heavy. Lead singer just screams into a microphone, and there's no, um, there's no difference between the bands. My fa one of my favorite bands of all time is Twisted Method. Um, first time I saw them was at an Oz Ozfest. Got to see them twice on Ozfest. Blew me away. Just the raw energy that, that that trip their lead singer had, and how everybody else in the band just it looked like the stage blew up and uh, it was amazing the other time that I saw them there was a great show this is what the problem is with, with shows lately you don't get to have these really good every band on the bill is, is solid and you get it for a cheap price one of my favorite shows that I've seen was at a little place called Annie's in Cincinnati and uh, it was Twisted Method opening dope Soil and then mushroom head, and it was a twelve dollar ticket. Try finding that now. Not gonna happen. You'd be lucky if you can see one of those bands now for twelve bucks. But that's how those shows kind of were. They were, and all those bands were popular at the time, so it doesn't make any sense why it can't still be done now. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna keep on doing these. If anybody wants to comment on YouTube, please leave a comment. Leave a comment on my MySpace page. Leave a comment. If you hate what I'm doing, I'll stop. If not, I'll keep on doing it. Um, notice now this is in widescreen. Widescreen version. I'm trying this. Maybe it gives a little bit more movie-like appearance. I don't know. But, um, oh, one other thing. Guitar Hero 2 is most likely the greatest game ever to come out. I'm addicted to it. Um, I have a friend, Dave. If you're ever watching this, I'm going to kick your ass in Guitar Hero 2. I'm practicing. You might have beat me on one, but two, much more. I know you can tell it's a lot harder to do, and I'm getting pretty good at it. So uh, practice away, because I'm going to kick the shit out of you. So, uh, yeah. I don't know anything else to say. Anybody's got any ideas of topics to bring up on this? question anything I don't care I'm starting to enjoy doing this so I'm gonna keep on doing it more often thinking of more funny and serious stuff to do so I guess this is it so um, yeah peace